Hey, welcome everybody. This is Brian, your National Academy of Sports Medicine Certified Personal Trainer and Nutrition Coach. Today's video is about fat loss and you know weight loss in general, and you know ways to stay motivated and just to try and educate you on things because there is these barriers that people will get to at some point in their weight loss, and they're just not going to push through sometimes. And I'm thinking from you know personal experience and just also facts and science of why you should keep pushing forward and just explain why maybe you aren't losing weight. Um, but anyways, guys, welcome back to the channel, The Hall of Gains. Please like and subscribe for more content. But anyways, let's get into basically the first thing we need to discuss is when we talk about weight loss, or at least when most people talk about weight loss, most of the time you're talking about fat loss. You're not talking about trying to lose muscle. You're, you're talking about losing fat. When you say you lost blah, blah, blah weight, you're losing fat. That's what people want to lose. That is what you mean. The thing is, though, is that you don't always gain or lose fat when it comes to gaining or losing weight. You can gain or lose weight because of water weight or just the amount of food you put in your body. If you had just chugged a 32 ounce um, thing of Powerade and then had a 16 ounce chicken breast, you just put three pounds of food and liquid into your body. That means that you don't weigh three pounds more. That just means you put three pounds of stuff into your body. And also, you know, the thing with carbohydrates is one gram of carb can store three grams of water which is why people always bring up the thing of water weight. You can gain or lose weight because of water, because carbohydrates can store a lot of water. And if you think about it, I believe it's about 450 grams of carbs for basically one pound. And, you know, I have between 250 to 300 carbs of grams a day, so I'm, I get over halfway there. And that means I can easily get to a pound and a half of extra water stored per day because of the carbs I eat. And, you know, it can very easily you can get to 400, 450 carbs. And so you're gaining several pounds of water weight a day. And uh, one thing that people really do need to do is they need to be consistent, not just with your diet, but with weighing yourself. You need to get up and weigh yourself in the same way every single day. What I do is the second I get up, I go to the bathroom and take a piss, and then I go and I weigh myself with nothing but my underwear on. And that is gonna basically give you some of the most accurate weighing. If you wait till the end of the day, it's not gonna be accurate because you're gonna drink a differing amount of fluids, eat a differing amount of food per day, which is gonna heavily fluctuate your weight. And, and if you think about it, if you have two 32 ounce Powerades and you had a bottle of water, that's like five pounds of liquid right there. It's not gonna be how much you really weigh. And so consistently weigh yourself. And the thing is, is that it's not just peeing. Like some people don't understand you need to pee before you weigh yourself, but poop weighs stuff too. If you can pee and poop before you weigh yourself, you're gonna get a more accurate version of what you actually weigh. And so this leads to basically something that I've been through, I'm currently going through right now, and I know a lot of people are, is you're dieting you're measuring all of your food, you are weighing all of your food, you know you're not in a caloric surplus, you know you're eating less calories more, you're eating less calories than how much you burn. So you know you should be losing weight. And you are also exercising, you're doing cardio, all that good stuff, but it's been two weeks and you've only gained a pound or two. That's completely normal. It can be take time for the water weight to subside and make it show it shows your true weight. You remember, the law of thermodynamics is a law. You cannot defeat that law. If you are taking in less calories than you burn, you are losing fat, but you have to remember, losing weight or gaining weight is not always fat-based. You can lose fat but gain weight. Maybe you put on a little bit of muscle and then also the water weight you're putting on. So. For example, for me, this is what happened to me, and this is an example of why you have to push through. So basically what happened is I had got to the point where I was 270 pounds down, no, down to 250 pounds, and 
uh, or no, 269 pounds. So I was down to 269, and I wanted to get past 268 to 267 because 268 was the lowest point I'd gotten to in my diet. If you don't know, uh, last time I'd gone to 268, then I had a huge sleeping issue, and that made it so I had to uh, consume uh, the green leaf to go fall asleep, which made me be extremely hungry before I went to bed, so I'd eat more and I gained weight. So it was back down to 269, and it would be a big landmark to get to 267 because that'd be my lowest weight and so I was down to 269 and I was on a caloric deficit of a thousand calories a day which means I would burn two pounds a week of fat two weeks later from 269 I was 271 so this was very discouraging for I, I almost did give up on just dieting and like you know if I can't get past this you know I'm you know I'm hungry I am, well, I'm not starving, but I do get pretty hungry. I don't get to eat the stuff I want to eat all the time. What's the point if I'm just going to gain two pounds in two weeks when I'm supposed to lose two pounds per week? Well, the next day after I'm 271, I weigh myself and I'm down to 266 pounds. So I actually did lose weight. And then the next day I was 264. So I did lose the weight. I, lo I lost the fat, but finally it just took time you had to wait, or I had to wait for the water weight to get away, pretty much. And so, you need to push through these things. You need to be patient. Weight loss and, you know, trying to build muscle, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And this is actually something I'm in right now. Um, I got down to 241 10 days ago. Today, I'm 244. But I've, been, I've stuck to my diet. I weigh all my food. I measure all my food. I even have been doing extra cardio every single day this week at an extra five minutes so it should not it's actually mathematically impossible due to the law of thermodynamics for me to have gained fat i had to have, it has to be water weight so i know that in theory i'm below 241 in my real weight it's just my water weight makes me 244 right now but it's still discouraging because you see that number on the scale and you just want to keep pushing it down and down and down but just keep going keep pushing through patience is what you need to stick with it's been 10 days and i've only gained three pounds even though i'm going through i'm on a 750 caloric deficit so i should be burning a pound and a half a week but in almost two weeks i've gained three pounds it has to be water weight the only other way and this is just illogical to assume that all the food i've been eating all the nutrition effects are just a huge lie because well, I do diet to a 750 calorie deficit. I actually do usually leave 50 to 100 calories on the table. So I'm generally always in an 800 to 850 caloric deficit. So yeah, I shouldn't definitely be putting on any weight whatsoever. Even if you assumed I was eating 500 more calories than I really am, which is a big jump, I still should be losing weight because I would still be in a 250 caloric deficit, which is a, a half a pound a week losing weight. So I still should have lost more pounds or more weight. So this whole thing here, guys, you need to be patient. You need to be consistent. Just keep dieting, keep measuring and weighing your food. Uh, weigh yourself at the same time every day. Go to the bathroom before. Pee, if you can, poop, because that's actually does gonna make a big difference in your weight, especially both. I know I've had three or four pound uh, pisses when I've gotten up, because sometimes I'll weigh myself before and then weigh myself after just to see how much I did pee. So. You do need to be extremely patient because it's just it's just how it works. I mean, I love getting on the scale and seeing a new uh, new weight that I'm at that I'm happy with because it's less than what I was the, the time before. But now it's been 10 days and I've only been putting on weight. And while I know that mathematically and physically it's impossible that I could have put on fat, it still is discouraging because I want to see the number go down and down and down. I want to see that I'm in the 230s now. I want to see that I keep progressing my goal. So just know that the law, of the, the law of thermodynamics is undefeated. If you are eating less calories than you are burning, you will lose fat. You cannot gain fat by being in a caloric deficit. You have to be in a surplus. So if you're in a caloric deficit and you're gaining weight, don't be discouraged. It's just water weight. If you want to basically just quickly find your real weight, you can just maybe drink a bit less fluids or reduce the amount of carbs you're having, which honestly I don't really suggest. Um, 
you could, I guess, have some less cards, but I wouldn't just like drastically cut how many carbs you're having, you know. Um, I've almost thought about cutting my carbs just to see my real weight, but it's like, it's like, okay, well, would I rather have more carbs so I could work out harder because carbs are energy or it's an energy source? I'd rather have that almost because then it's going to make me lose even more fat if I can work out harder and longer. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for the video. Just remember what weight loss means. We mean you're losing fat. You can gain weight without gaining fat. Remember, you can gain muscle, you can gain water weight, but if you're in a caloric deficit, you cannot gain fat. Be consistent with everything and be patient, okay? Like I said, it, it, that last time, it took two weeks for me to see weight loss. Even though I was in a big caloric deficit, I was supposed to be losing two pounds a week, and yet in two weeks, I had gained two pounds. But then the next day, I lost three, and the next day, I lost three again. And then same for me. Right now, I'm supposed to be in a one and a half pound a week deficit, yet it's been 10 days, and I've put on three pounds. It can't be fat. It has to be water weight. So just be patient and... Let me know down below, guys, what you think, and let me know any video ideas you want me to go over. But with that being said, I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Peace out.